Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today I'm in my editing studio to show you guys all the upgrades that are coming to the channel because I'm a man of my words. And if you guys uh, followed me in my recent live streams on YouTube, well, you know that I spoke about moving forward and coming up with 4K equipment to record videos in even higher quality. I know you guys have always appreciated the sound and the uh, video quality of my videos, uh, but I think now we're stepping this up a huge notch. So for all the electronics geeks like me out there, you guys are gonna appreciate this because I'm gonna go over a slight overview of all the equipment uh, that I purchased to up the game. I'm very serious about my channel, as you guys know. And by the way, thank you for your support. Uh, you guys have made this one of the biggest car detailing channels on YouTube. At the moment of this recording, we're March 14, and we're already close to being able to surpass 600,000 subscribers, and we're approaching the 70 million views on YouTube, so that's awesome. Uh, by the way, uh, upgrades like this are super costly. Uh, I spent nearly $22,000 uh, Canadian dollars in upgrades. That's roughly 18,000 USD or US dollars on this uh, gear and equipment and computers and stuff. Uh, so it doesn't come cheap. Of course, hard work pays off. Uh, but again, I hope you guys are gonna appreciate this. So I already have a few videos in the works that we shot in 4K high ultra high definition, uh, but the majority of the channel will be switching probably at the beginning of May because I still have a few uh, videos that I had produced previous to that. Uh, so yeah, gradually you're gonna be seeing more and more 4K content. If you're excited, by the way, uh, make sure to tune in this coming Wednesday, March 17, my first 4K video, and it's a pretty cool production. Uh, I won't say what it is, you guys are gonna have to tune in, 8 a.m. Eastern time, March 17, first 4K Ultra HD video. Okay, so the most important part, by the way, is the camera gear. So this is the uh, new Sony A7S Mark III camera. Uh, I initially wanted to go with something less expensive, but I just fell in love after watching so much stuff online. This is the go-to high-end camera now for filmmakers on YouTube. Uh, and so, Shoots in 4K, of course, can do up to 120 frames per second as well. Uh, it has a full frame sensor. I got the uh, Sigma Art f2.8 24 to 70 millimeter lens. I'm still waiting on a bunch of other gear as well. Some are back ordered right now, but I have another Sony Zeiss lens coming in and a few other surprises, uh, including an Icon uh, tripod, a video tripod with carbon fiber legs and all that good stuff. On top here, I have a digital Sony mic that records audio digitally directly to the uh, SD card. Uh, the, the cool thing about this one is that they now have the Com CF Express Type A cards. These alone are like 520 bucks Canadian guys, 160 gigs, but it's the speed of this that is insane. So two slots. And if we look here, I also have my CF Express Type A reader. Uh, this also reads SD cards from Sony. So very, very quick. And uh, so the rest of the, uh, the gear, I have a small rig. This is the cage to support all the gear. Uh, I have here an external monitor to be able to better view uh, what I'm watching, obviously, when I'm recording. So this is an Atomos Shinobi external monitor, HDMI, full HDMI connection. Uh, I got extra batteries, of course. I have this uh, handy, nifty thing. You can basically set it up as you want. And I'm missing a Sony XLR K3M uh, external recorder with shotgun mic. That's, that's to come as well. So uh, yeah, some pretty awesome stuff. And uh, you have the flip out screen. Finally, Sony gave this. So this flippy screen in the back. But I mean, this smaller screen compared to this uh, five inch display in the front, it allows for awesome recording. And so I can see what I'm doing. Also, I got this uh, G-Series external hard drive. This is a Thunderbolt 3 connection, two terabyte SSD, blazing fast speeds. Uh, so I can basically put all the footage on there if I eventually need uh, to do some editing on the go, if I'm traveling, I'll eventually probably purchase one of the newer generation 16 inch MacBook Pros with the M1X rumored processor when those come out with Apple Silicon. Uh, so yeah, super blazing fast external hard drive. Uh, also, talking about Apple, this is the brand new, fully loaded 2020 27 inch iMac. So it has an Intel Core i9 processor, a 10 core processor, 3.6 gigahertz 
uh, per core. I fully loaded it, so 64 gigs of DDR4 RAM. I have a 16 gig uh, ATI Radeon Pro graphics 5700 XT, two terabyte SSD. I mean, this thing is flying. Uh, this alone is like almost 6,000 bucks Canadian. Uh, so yeah, very expensive gear, but of course allows for high performance editing and very speedy editing. Next, I already had a good Sennheiser AVX uh, wireless lav mic that I have here with my external Zoom H5 recorder. So that was a good setup. The mic alone, I think is over a thousand bucks Canadian, but I upgraded that to the AVX digital kit, but with the MKE2 microphone. So this is basically a higher end version. Look at how tiny this is, but this gives better audio quality compared to the one that I have here, which is the regular ME2. So this is the MKE2 setup. Uh, also, so for some portable recording now, I got the new GoPro Hero Black 9 sports action camera that films in 5K. So this is a uh, nifty little portable gadget. And I pretty bought all the equipment that goes with it. So a chesty, a head strap, a bunch of external stuff, stuff to go underwater. I don't know why I did that. Uh, extra batteries, a quick charger, so on and so forth. The, uh, the tally or the bill goes up pretty quickly. Uh, next, you see my girlfriend using this a lot and my brother as well when uh, you see people helping me to film. So this is the new DJI, uh, the Pocket 2. So this is a 4K uh, gimbal stabilized little mini pocket camera. Look at how small this is. Pretty awesome from DJI. So it allows for people to have uh, nice steady shots when they help me to film some stuff. So this is capable of recording in 4K as well. Uh, for my bigger Sony camera, I got this uh, brand new uh, DJI Ronin SC2 gimbal stabilizer handheld. So this is some pretty uh, like semi-professional stuff there. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. So I don't know if I'm going to use all of this gear or how to use this gear because I'm still learning, right? But uh, yeah, this is pretty high end as well. So yeah, this is all the uh, equipment. I have a lot more stuff coming in as well that I ordered that I'm waiting for. So as you can tell, I, uh, I didn't skimp. I didn't cheap out. I went very high end and hopefully you guys will notice the huge increase in uh, video production quality uh, as far as audio and video goes. Help to support my channel if you want to do so by smashing the thumbs up button to show me that you guys are excited as well. Uh, don't forget to make sure you don't miss any of my videos. You have to click the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel uh, and that way you'll subscribe to my channel. Never miss my future videos. Continue to learn more about car detailing, all the products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques. Uh, <laughs> I'm super, super excited because I mean, man, I'm already uh, playing around with this gear and yeah, the bump in quality is nuts. Uh, again, uh, if you're watching this video after March 17, go check out the first 4K video on my channel. Uh, and if you're watching this before March 17, well, stay tuned. March 17, 8 a.m. Eastern Time, you guys are going to see the first 4K video and it's a big one. I think it's going to be a fun one as well for you guys to watch. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed uh, this quick overview of all the stuff that's to come. As you can tell, again, I'm a man of my words. When I say I'm going to do things, I always do. And it's always in a big way, right guys? So don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.